Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleek Ballet Fitness. It's great to see you all today. I'm gonna to take you through a floor bar workout. So you'll need your mat because, as the title says, we're down on the floor, but we do start standing. Have some water to hand as well. This is a workout that's so great to prep you for any of your other workouts, but it also helps to really build and maintain a good, strong technique. We're gonna really be using the muscles, particularly on the insides of our thighs, our adductor muscles, but also our glutes, our hamstrings, our calves, and our quads as well as working a little bit of in, work into the upper body and also getting our core strong as well. So it's a really great little mini workout. Um, use it on its own or like I say, use it before any other sleep workout. Okay, grab your mats and let's do it. Pulling your heels back, draw your ribcage together, tuck your tailbone down, interlace your hands, take a plie, scoop out your tummy and make a C shape with your spine, drawing your tummy through to the back wall behind you and lift up and lengthen. Press those palms to the ceiling. Releasing into a high release, take those arms slightly behind your shoulder line and slide your fingers into your back pockets of your imaginary jeans. Roll your shoulders back, press your hips forward, look up to the sky. Lift your breastbone, lengthen out through the front palm of the abdominals, draw everything up, lift your shoulders to your ears, Roll them down your back and then place your hands one more time. Scoop out your tummy, press. Chin to chest. Beautiful. Lift all the way up. Send those hands to the ceiling. Taking that high release. Keep that feeling of openness. Slide the hands down the back. Squeeze the elbows together. Look up. And recover, pull that root cage in, lift those shoulders up, roll them down your back, and drop your chin to your chest. Squeeze it down. Roll your shoulders forward, take a little plie now. Halfway down, we're gonna sway right and left. Open up through the side body, getting some blood flow to our brains. Come to center, take hold of opposite elbow. And then continue to roll down, drawing the forearms to the floor, keep those knees nice and bent. And now non shake out your head, yes and no. Opening up the blood vessels in the back of the neck here. And take a big plie, hands come to the floor now. And gently lift the bottom, straighten up, pull that tummy to the spine. And again, big plie. Knees come forward over two middle toes and lift up. One more time, take a big plie. Feel those muscles in the top of the thighs start to wake up and lift up. And this time, hands in front of your fingertips to the mat. Take that plie, roll your body weight forward, lift your heels, stretch out those demi points, that feels nice. Ooh, feel those toes just open up. Now we're going to try to straighten our legs gently here this time as we lift up. Send the chest to the thighs, look through your shins. Pull your tummy in, feet into the floor one more time, take that plie, rock forward, lift those heels, stretch up those insteps, wake up those ankles. Good, and this time lower your heels, sit back, take your hands behind you, and sit back into your bottoms, ladies. Release those heels forward a little bit, making an upside down V shape with your legs. Sit up nice and tall, find that high release that you took right at the top of class, lengthen back. Look up to the ceiling, pull your tummy in, point your toes, and release your hands out, palms face up, hold it here for two, three, four more, four, three, two, one, turn your palms, sit back a little, and see if you can reach your fingers beyond your shins, but still pulling your tummy in, not collapsing. Now switching one hand up and down, just getting that feeling of pressure against imaginary, heavy, sticky air. Four more, four, switch, three, switch, two, switch. Now keep that feeling of pressure, but bring your arms in front of you, make it third arabesque. Switching now, bending through the elbow and through the wrist, starting to warm up into the upper body. We're nearly there, ladies, for three, tummy in for two, Last one, well done. Sit up tall, lower your heels. Roll your shoulders back. Take that high release 
you saw me and lengthen everything out, lie back into that pillow. Chin, chin comes forward, release those palms, they turn up, pull the tummy in. Good, turn those palms and we switch. Two, three, four, five. We're going to double time it this second set, pressing down for one, two. Feel that core engage, wake it up for four, three. Bring those arms to third arabesque, slow it down. Two, pressing through elbows and wrists. Five, six, seven. One more set to double time. Two, three, tummy draws in. Last four, three, two, one. Well done, sit up. High release, good luck, ladies, well done. Lengthen back, we've woken up our core. We're gonna start to roll down this time, so look forward. Send your vertebra down to the mat and unpeel your spine. Last thing to touch the shoulders back of the head. Walk your heels up. Let's start to wake up the big muscle groups in the lower body. Slide your fingers away, pull your tummy to the mat. Gently start to tilt those hip bones up to the ceiling and lift those bottom three vertebra holding here. Carving out the hamstrings and the glutes. Lengthening the fronts of the thighs. Lift those bottoms high, send them to the ceiling. Pull your tummy in, flatten it out, lengthen out those muscle fibers. Take your arms overhead and as you do, lift your heels. Set those heels nice and high. Knees to the ceiling, reach the arms back over your heads. Lower your heels, lift your hips even higher, roll down. Last thing to touch is your bottom vertebra and your palms. Again, bottom three vertebra, peel off. Feel that tremble, the hamstrings are activated, the glutes are activated. Lift your bottoms high, look down your centre line. Pull your tummies in. Now lift your heels, send your hands up and overhead. Reach the fingers away, press into those demi points. We've already woken them up, we're going to stay here this time, lower right heel. Switch and change left heel. Two more this speed. Let's double time it. Here we go. Press for one and change. Two, wake up the calf muscles, keeping the alternate leg working a little bit harder as you squeeze to the right, squeeze to the left. Three, four more. Three more, two more, one more. Well done with both heels up. Lower your heels, start to roll down, hands come to the floor. Good work. Draw your right knee into your chest. Don't take hold of your shin, but feel like you're pulling your thigh towards your ribcage. Delicate the leg up. Turn it out, rotate from the top of the leg, lower it in line with your supporting leg. Now lengthen it away as you flex your foot here. Your inside thigh is going to work. I'm going to hover it off the floor. Lower down for one. Squeeze it up. We're just working in line with the ankle, then the knee of the supporting leg. Down. Reach down. Feel that inside thigh working here. Turn the little toe towards the mat. Four more to go for four. Lift. Three more. Three. Keep feeling that the leg is coming out of the hip socket. It's lengthening away. It's not bunching. Good. Last one. Hold it here. Stay there. Point your toe. Lengthen that leg even further. Draw it back up to the ceiling. And let's just take a little stretch of the hamstring. You can use your arms here. Well the ladies. Release that leg back in towards your rib cage. And place it down. Second side. Draw the leg in. Hold it here. So we're not using arm strength, we're using core strength to draw the thigh to the rib cage. Don't pay the leg up. And turn it out from your hip socket, knee and thigh faces the side. Lower it down in line with your supporting leg. Hold it there. Flex your foot. Start to lower to the ankle. Lower and hover. Lifting up. Really working on turnout from the top of the leg. Inside thigh is what's working this leg. Good, lowering down. Lifting up, I want four more, we really take four. Hands can come onto your tummy. Feel what's happening underneath your fingertips. That tummy is flat and taut, two more. Lifting up. 
Last one. Lift it up, hold it here, ladies. Punch your toe, lengthen that leg even further. And then lift that leg to the side, take a little stretch, well done. Draw it in. Turn the knee towards you. Place that leg down, release your hands down to the floor and roll up. Find your hips to the ceiling. This time we're low halfway down, pressing up and squeezing the inside thighs together. Now, we've already woken up those inside thighs, so really feel that juiciness between your kneecaps as we hover, lift up, squeeze and release. Again, hover, lift up, squeeze. We take four more this time. As you know, reach the arms overhead, leave them there. So we're lengthening out at the same time. Good, hover down. Let's take two more sets. So working backs of the legs here, and inside thighs and outside thighs. Good, last one. Lift up. Good, halfway. Good, well done. Lower down. Good, same thing. Draw that leg in. Lower your arms back to your low V. Pull your tummy to your spine. Don't pay the leg up. Turn it out. Lower it down. Flex your foot. Stay here. This time as you lower, lift your body off. And lift. For two. And lift. Four, three. So it's the same sequence, ladies. We're working quicker and we're working into that core a little deeper. Four more. Three more. Two to go for two. Well done. Last one. Hold it here. Point your toe. Lift a little higher. Reach. Draw the leg back in. Lower your shoulders to the mat. Breathe. Bottom to the floor, bend your knees, second side. Here we go, draw the knee in. Dead the pain up. Turn out from the top of your leg. Rotate, lower it down. In line with your supporting leg, flex your foot. Lift it up as you lower, four, one. Keep it turned out. Now you can see it clearly here. Palms down or palms up, I don't mind. You're reaching with the fingertips or you're lifting the palms to the ceiling. I don't mind your choice. Give me four more, four. No strain in that neck. Three. Keep flexing the foot for two. We're nearly there, chest wide for one. Hold it, point your toe, reach even higher, reach. Lower the leg, well done, draw it towards you. Bend your knee. Lower your foot down, now draw both knees towards you, keep your bottom on that mat. Draw your legs in, knees together, ankles together. Devil play both legs up to the ceiling. Flex your feet, and here's both legs now rotating from the top. You know what's coming, ladies, hands down. We take a plie slow, press the ceiling away. Push with the inside thighs, flex your feet. Again, demi plie slow. Well done, press and lift. Let's speed this up, please. Give me eight, and press, seven, and press, six. Pressing the backs of the legs together and pressing the ceiling away. Four more. Slide your shoulders from your ears. Two to go. Last one. Well done, point your toes. Separate your legs to second. Now squeeze them together and cross them in fifth position. Inside thighs working. Again. Second, keep those feet pointed for me. Squeeze them. Can we move this a little quicker, please? Second and switch. Two. You can reach down and feel what's happening with those inside thighs, particularly as the legs start to join. Coming back from second. Another set, please. Can you take your hands to fifth? Two. Three. Four more, switch and change, three more, two more. Here's the fun bit, start to lower those legs as you separate them. Lowering down, keep that core really working. Four more, hover them off the floor, hover. Three, two, and one. Lower down, flex your feet, well done. Lengthen everything out, move forward. Release, turn to face me. 
come onto your sides, ladies. You can bend your underneath leg if that helps a little. Or if not, we're staying in first position. Hand to your waist, flex your foot, lift your foot up. Lower it down, now bring it forward. Heel comes forward, back to first. So we're working outside of the thigh and inside thigh. Good, twice more like this. Lift and down, draw the leg forward. Take it back and again lift and down. Heel comes forward, point your toe, let's speed this up. We go up, that one tendu, side to front. Two. Inside thumb, three, and four, four more to go, options, arm in fifth, oh good, working hard into that core, two to go, smile, last one, this time hold it here, brush the leg behind you, extend to arabesque, get a lovely stretch to the front of the body, now bend your heel towards your bottom, take hold of your instep, and lengthen out that thigh. Try to press the knee back, open the chest, open the shoulder. Squeeze the knees in line with each other, hold, breathe. Two, and one. Well done, draw the knee forward, press it back. Find a chair position, lift up nice and high. Press the foot to the floor, bend your underneath leg, sit up tall. Arm comes over, pull the brass, spine twist. Go and look to the side wall. Options, head can turn. Well done, ladies. Come back to face me. Slide down to the second side. Make that ruler straight alignment. Beautiful, draw the tummy in. Flex your top foot. Bend the underneath leg if you need to as a kickstand. Lift the leg up. Squeeze it down. Take it forward, take it back. Again, lift and squeeze forward. So we're mimicking here a back one tendu à la seconde and devant. Heel is forward, it works that inside thigh. Really rotate from the top of the leg. Good. Point those toes. Let's take it up and forward. Two and forward. Find that inside thigh and then extend the leg back. Find your arabesque. Beautiful. Bend that heel towards your bottom. Take hold of your instep. Squeeze that heel. Lengthen out the thigh, knee to knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Open through the chest. High release feeling and then draw those toes in and up. Press the knee back. Onto the floor, bend your underneath leg, sit up nice and tall. Well done. Shoulders down your back, hold the rubber arm over, take your twist. Options, head to shoulder. And then come back to face me, draw your knees together, just hug everything in. Nose comes down towards your knees, hold here. Okay, open those knees out. We're taking a little frog stretch here. Just releasing now into the upper uh, leg area. So open through the hips, the pelvis here. So we can sometimes get tight when we're doing a lot, of, a lot of conditioning work. So sliding one hand down, just opening out now, releasing into those legs. Great prep here for a full class. Great prep to set us up for the day. Slide that leg away. Sit up nice and tall. Beautiful. And one last time, have those knees together. Roll up. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Please click like if you like. Subscribe if you want more from us. Take care of yourselves and Victoria and I and the sleep team. We'll see you all very soon.